History was made in the ancient commercial city of Anicca on the 22nd of March 1998 when Pope John Paul II beatified Father Supreme Michael Iwene Tansi. With his beatification, Father Tansi became the first Nigerian in the history of the church to be officially proclaimed blessed. Since then, anniversary of his beatification has become a tradition. On the 16th of January 2011, Nigerians in Rome gathered at SS Simon and Jude's Catholic Church, Torre Angela, to celebrate a unique feast in honor of Father Tansi. The Holy Mass was presided by his spiritual son, Cardinal Francis Arinze, who in 1974 started the speed work on the possibility of promoting the cause of Tansi's beatification. One of the high points of the occasion was the thrilling reception after the Holy Mass during which people interacted, ate to their satisfaction, and the women did some dance therapy. <laughs> Reverend Father Solomon Oshie, a priest of the Oblates of the Virgin Mary and the secretary of the Association of Nigerian Priests, Seminarians and Religious in Rome, encapsulates his experience of the faith. Hello, Father Solomon. What are we really celebrating today? Uh, we are celebrating today the feast in honor of Blessed Iwene Michael Tansi, the only saint we have from Nigeria. And so, how will you evaluate the feast of today? Uh, as for my own evaluation, I guess it has been a success, it has been a wonderful thing. Because the main aim, I guess, is just to make us know the saints, make an awareness amongst us how we can be able to uh, seek his intercession so we can make him a saint in due course. Because he's still called the blessed and he needs to be called a saint. But before he's called a saint, he needs some miracles. And before those miracles can be done, somebody needs to know about him. And that was due to those who came got to know about him through the preaching of the Bible. Thanks so much. God bless you. Thank you. Born in 1903 at Aguleri in Onicha, Nigeria, and ordained a priest in 1937, Father Tansi died on the 28th of January 1964. As a priest, Father Tansi was devoted to his people and was always available to them. The uncompromising and wholehearted manner in which he gave himself to the demands of the kingdom in his priestly vocation is something to be imitated. Priests and religious, particularly in Nigeria and from Nigeria, will have a lot to learn from Father Iwene Tansi's priestly ministry and spirituality. Next year, the Feast of Father Tansi is going to take place at St. Ambrose Catholic Church, Largo, Argentina, Rome. Oh,